Good morning guys. It is a beautiful morning out here right on the beach on Cape Breton Island. So this is day two out of my anticipated seven day trip. Last night's sleep was right there behind me inside of the truck camper with the wood stove rolling and the sound of crashing waves and rain tapping on the truck. So it is currently raining very, very fine mist right now. And it is really cloudy out there. And I love mornings like this. You wake up on the beach, it's nice and moody, dramatic clouds out there. Nothing but open water, sound of crashing waves. I heard some seagulls inside the truck this morning when I first woke up. Beautiful, beautiful way to wake up. So I do have to study the maps. I'm gonna get those out on the tailgate in just a bit. Just to kind of look at where I'm at, where I wanna go and where I could possibly sleep tonight. Uh, hopefully we get a lot of uh, discovery and adventure in between those two points, but right now I'm just going to soak in this moment looking out at the water. It's amazing Hot cup of coffee guys can't beat it So I do still have to do oatmeal for breakfast before I pack up the rest of my cooking dishes and the wood stove is burning right now I'm gonna let it burn out before I can take the final section of pipe off put the cap back on the roof close the tailgate And then we'll hit the road first. I got to drink coffee though Alright guys, got a little bit more coffee to go. The wood stove is basically cooled down. I mean I could touch that, it's still hot, but there's no fire in there. So I'll be able to get the pipe down, get the top cap screwed in, and close up the back of the truck very shortly. I do have a little bit more though. Uh, the beach was giving it up today. Guys, I gotta say, I was just walking on the beach, just sitting there too, and the amount of sea glass that I found is absurd. And I'm talking like big old chunks of sea glass and uh, if you guys don't know what sea glass is basically it's just broken shards of glass from various items bottles all kinds of things and it gets tumbled in the ocean and it's just really really smooth and frosty when it's all dried out I've got a whole bunch of clear I've got a big chunk of or a small chunk of blue I was looking for a big chunk of blue I got a really small shard of like green like emerald green and then I got this big piece that my girls are gonna go nuts over. My kids love collecting sea glass, and I just, I could not resist picking all of this up. So I've got probably a dozen pieces, but this big old chunk of very pale green is just almost like a mint green. Absolutely incredible. So I'm very happy with that find. I'm gonna pop these in my cup holder in the truck and surprise the kids when I get home. So right now, I'm just gonna finish up this little bit of coffee. Like I said, the stove's cooled down, the bedding and everything, I'm just gonna leave in there just like that today until I get the camp and then I'll fold it up into chair mode again, clean up inside and, uh, and then get more into camp mode. But today is gonna be exploring, driving around. So I've gotta get out the map, show you guys where I'm at roughly and then where I'm gonna be anticipating to head to and uh, basically hopefully find that camp spot that I really wanna get to in the forest and call it home for the night. So let's grab the map. Okay guys, so this is the Nova Scotia back road map book. Um, it actually includes PEI too, which is pretty cool, and Cape Breton of course. So I'm just gonna flick to whereabouts I am. So here's Cape Breton Island. Um, I may have to grab my phone as well because I don't exactly know. I believe right there. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna grab my phone. Oh no, okay. All right, so I came off of the causeway and I scooted right up the shore. And I think that is exactly where I'm at right now, actually. All right, guys, so looking at this paper map, here is mainland and here is the island. So there's a little causeway here, this blue and white line. I came across that causeway and basically I followed this red road all the way up the side, all the way up here. And it cuts inland away from the ocean a little bit. And then it cuts back in. So where I am right now is right here. I believe it's called McKay's Pond. So there's just this little jet of land that pops out in the ocean and uh, all open ocean that way, which is really cool. So for today, I've got to backtrack back up to this red line. So I've got to come all the way up this road. There's a gas station right here in Port Hood. And then I'm going to kind of go this way around because there's a... There's another area here I want to check out, but basically I'm on the northern side of the island and I'm going to be skirting all the way up into the highlands, but I don't think I want to go to the highlands today. I think I'm going to be up in the woods somewhere around here later on this evening, but for today we're going to explore all of this. I just had the most epic rainbow form full rainbow that way. The sun just poked out of the clouds and it got really warm, really warm. But there was a beautiful rainbow just casting right over top of the truck as I was over here looking at the map. That was awesome. So there is a big spot of blue sky out there, but everything else is gray and overcast and everything inland is just fog, just rolling misty fog. The sun's trying to poke through, but I'm not sure what it's going to do. So I hope that shows you guys or gives you guys a little idea of what today's plan is. I've got to fold this up because it is still misting really fine rain. I don't want my map to get destroyed. So I'm going to finish up my last bit of coffee and I'm going to get changed out of my comfy down pants. Uh, get my real pants on wherever those are. I think they're in the back of the truck somewhere. Get the pipe down, get all this squared up. I'll see you guys in the truck. So I'm just going to get the truck fired up and uh, well, I got a box of diapers in case I got to go poopy. <laughs> That's all food, uh, all dry food I should say. So let's fire the truck up, warm it up, and then I got to get my recovery boards off of the roof. Get those in the back as well as the bin of firewood which is still under the truck. I got to throw that in there as well. So let's get this fired up and get some devices plugged in and start charging some uh, flashlights, phone, batteries, all that stuff. Throw that in the truck and then we're off. <laughs>
Okay guys, we are on the road driving. Um, the, the camera where it's positioned right now up on my little ball head on the dash, it does wobble a little bit and I know I mentioned that in the first episode so I do apologize. It's a, it's a very large camera, it's a very large lens. And if you guys could actually see the setup that I'm using right now, you would actually be quite surprised that it's only wobbling that much. So just driving down this dirt road, got the ocean off to the side, looks beautiful and we're off to the next location. So I'm gonna be driving to Port Hood in Cape Breton and basically going to gas up. I, uh, I probably don't even need to gas up right now realistically. I'm at three quarters of a tank. I do have a fair bit of travel to do though. So maybe I'll pass that gas station and stop at the next one. We'll see what happens, but basically just gonna get out of, out of this area. I think my juice just fell down. Um, it, it's a bumpy road, it's going to be a bumpy ride, so a lot of things are going to get all over the place in the truck. So, anyways, going to get down this road, and there's pavement way up here, so I'm just going to get on that and get back on the main connector road, head to the next town, stop there briefly, uh, kind of replan things, get some gas, maybe skip it, and start exploring the island, guys. Okay guys, so I'm in Port Hood right now and I just passed this epic location on the side of the road. I had to turn around and come back. I'm gonna have some breakfast here because I only had an apple to eat from the last location that I left. So anyways, I pulled into this parking lot and I backed the truck right up to this beautiful sand dune and we're right on the water and there's even a hiking trail here. So I'm gonna get changed out of some clothes, get into some newer clothes for the day because I'm still wearing the stuff from yesterday. and. Uh, Grab maybe a few items and head down this trail and check it out right on the sand and the ocean. So let's go. All right, guys, so I'm literally backed right up on a sand dune right on the ocean looking at these crashing waves this entire beach is nothing but sand i'm definitely going to explore this so i'm just going to do a little bit of maintenance in the back of the camper now because i got a feeling today is going to be a very adventurous day and i'm not going to have a whole lot of time to stop and clean later on so might as well get it done now that it's nice and sunny out and then explore this beautiful beach Alright, so just before I head down this beach area, I just want to take a look at some of the battery units while I do have usable sunlight. I've got the solar power cables right up here, so I just want to do a quick check of some of these battery units to see if they need a top up, because I'd rather take advantage of the sunlight now, just in case it clouds over and rains. So this one's at 80%, the night court is at 95%, so I'm not going to bother with that. EcoFlow, we are at 67%. Okay, so I'm gonna put some power into the EcoFlow, unplug everything, and I've got all the cables to everything that I need in here. So I just need to find the EcoFlow cable. That's my 12 volt for the EcoFlow, so if I wanna plug that in the truck while I'm driving, I can do so. Uh, that's another, that's for the Blue Eddy. And MC4 connector. So I've got some MC4 wires that I could plug into here and then plug that into my battery unit. That way I can lock the truck up completely and power this up, get some juice put in there while I'm out hiking, and I don't have to worry about leaving solar panels outside of the truck that can either blow away or someone can come by and take. So I've got that. That's the cable that I need. I'm just going to get all this bundled back up inside of this container. This is a ammo can that was sent to me from, uh, from Blackout Coffee. So just in case you guys are wondering, if you guys can get these with the little rubber seals, they make excellent little containers for storing cables and electronics. So that's what I've got that for. 
I'm just going to hook up these MC4 wires, get it plugged in, and get charging. Right, guys I'm way out here at the end of this point I'm hiking this trail and I gotta say it is definitely windy out here I've got the camera nestled in the grass so hopefully that can pick up enough audio and be blocked from the wind but this area is absolutely epic white sand crashing waves beautiful beautiful scenery so I'm gonna hike around here a little bit more grab some photos get some epic shots and then I'm gonna make my way back to the truck it's about two kilometers from here jump in the back, cook up a quick lunch, and then head on the day. guys I'm just back to the truck from my hike so I'm still at the parking lot the area that I was hiking on the beach um, the Sun has gone away but I'm still pulling 20 27 to 30 watts with cloud cover now before I left it was pulling at about 48 to 55 it was kind of fluctuating so I'm up to 71% battery life right now just by using the solar on a half sunny cloudy day so I'll take it whenever I can for sure and if I really need to I could put it in the back of the truck plug it in while I'm driving and charge it that way but 71% for what I use this particular battery for in the back of the truck that's enough to last three days so I'm not worried about that plus I've got two other battery units that I split the load with so this one usually does like my indoor lighting my LED light strips this guy usually does charging batteries a little bit of the lamp and then the night core I use for like plugging in my laptop and stuff like that so Speaking of which, I am going to I'm going to plug in my phone right now and get this charged up while I'm sitting here. I'm going to have a quick lunch here, and I uh, I have to run over to a hardware store because last night when it was raining really heavy, I happened to notice that there is a leak coming in, and actually there's a drop of water coming in right now, and it's not even raining. So when I screwed in the solar panel to the roof, I ended up putting silicone over all of these holes. The only one that's leaking is the one right above my bed. So I only got dripped on probably a dozen times last night. It's not a very fast drip, but I'm just gonna rip all that silicone off, run in the store, grab a little tube, squirt some on there, and it'll be fixed. No worries there. So I'm just gonna get this phone plugged in, get this charged up, and have a quick lunch. Make sure that's on and charging. And I'll let this battery charge while I'm sitting here for a few more moments. 
And uh, basically I'm just gonna make up lunch, have coffee, or make coffee, bring it with me in the truck and have lunch right now. I brought a big bottle of grapefruit juice and I'm a huge fan of grapefruit juice, so shake this up. Have a little splash of this while we're sitting here. This beach is absolutely incredible. I got some stunning photos out there. I was really, really happy with it. It's windy and uh, it's awful, awful cloudy out there, but those are my kind of days. So I'm actually happy that uh, the sun went away and it clouded over. So for lunch, grapefruit juice, as I just mentioned, and I brought some hummus. So I also love hummus and this is roasted pine nut hummus. So I've never had this one before. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator and silly me, when I left the truck to go hiking, I forgot to unplug my fridge from the truck and plug it into my battery unit. So I was gone for about two hours. Luckily, the fridge is still cold. I just plugged it in now, but now I'm gonna have to remember to unplug it out of my battery and plug it back into my truck. So that is nothing new. That happens all the time. I always forget that. So I'm gonna chill out here for a few moments, eat lunch, and then it's gonna be head over to the hardware store, grab some silicone, and then we've gotta find a spot to stay for the night because it is getting later in the day right now. I spent quite a bit of time out on the beach and I want to secure a location tonight deep in the woods if I can, which means hopefully I'll be able to set up the hot tent and bring out the oven and do some more elaborate cooking tonight. If not, we'll just sleep in the truck like I did last night. So it is lunchtime, guys. Mmm, that's a good one. All right, guys, coffee on the go, and it's time to go. So I got to make it across the street. There's a home hardware over there. I'm just going to cruise over there, grab a small tube of silicone so I can patch up the roof, and then we are off on an adventure. So today was awesome hanging out here, but we've got more to explore, so let's get after it. Okay guys, so I'm out of the hardware store now and I just picked up the literally the last tube of silicone from the store. And I apologize for the camera shaking around. I'm on a dirt road right now. So that was a small store. Went in there, there was one tube left and I got the hand squeezable one so I don't need a caulking gun. I can reseal it that way. I can keep it in the truck and if I need it later on, I can use it. So I also grabbed a pack of fire starters, those little tiny bricks that help uh, light wood stoves. And I found last night a little difficult to get the fire going because there's no birch bark anywhere on the shore and it was raining. Everything was soaked. So I just grabbed a, a whole pack of them. They're in the truck now. So if I need them for the rest of the trip, I could just toss one or two in the wood stove and that'll light the fire no problem. So I'm just heading to a location that I have pinned on my map on my GPS. I want to see what it looks like in person and that way I know better for perhaps a different day or another trip returning to the island at another time. But right now I want to head to that location, it's on the shore and I want to get a really good look at it because it looks like a decent spot. And then from there, if I choose not to stay there, uh, I think I'm going to head up the mountain into the forest because I do want to be in the forest this evening. It's going to take a lot for me to stay on the ocean tonight. I really want to be in the forest away from kind of the openness and the wind. I just want to get up in the woods and have a great camp out. So 
We're heading up the hill right now and then gonna check out the first spot and then off to the second spot. So I just seen this spot on the map and I was coming up over a hill and I could see way off in the distance this beautiful crescent shaped beach is just getting pounded with the waves. I'm looking right at it now. So I turned down the road, came all the way down here. Unfortunately, there are signs down here that says no camping as it is a provincial park with hiking trails, but it's on the way. So we might as well stop. I, don't, I can't say no to this. So I'm going to grab the camera, tripod, jump out, take a peek at this beautiful, beautiful looking beach. And then it's going to be back in the truck. So let's go take a look. guys this is a pretty intense location this beautiful sandy huge crescent shaped beach is just getting pummeled with these waves and it's not even really windy out so this is awesome I would love to camp here but unfortunately we're not allowed and that's probably a good thing because if this place was able to be camped it would probably be destroyed this area is incredible Absolutely amazing. Okay guys, back inside of the truck. That was absolutely epic. That was awesome. I wish I could camp here, but rules are rules. It says no camping, so... It's nice to leave areas like this just the way they are so they could stay that way. So I'm very happy I stopped though. That is epic. The one thing I do wish I could do is stick around for sunset because it is cloudy, but there's a little bit of sun and the photos here would be absolutely next level. Amazing. But that's the way it goes. Wrong place, wrong time, right? So we're going to move on to another spot for another opportunity and uh, we'll see what that looks like and then we'll keep on traveling and exploring. So let's get going, guys.
All right, guys. Well, as you can see, we're getting some wheeling in, and this road is totally washed out. So keeping it far over towards the driver's side, skinnying past these really large dips. If I fall in one of these, I'm going to have to get out some recovery gear and hopefully be able to get out. But four low all the way up there, then I had to run all the way back down to get the camera. So I'm a little winded, but I'm just going to grab the camera, jump in the truck, head all the way up the rest of this muddy, slick hill, and uh, continue on, guys. All right, guys, well, it's time to park it. So we're running out of light and I went all the way up this road and essentially it's a massive washed out logging road. All of this stuff is fresh logging. The road is totally washed out from recent rainfall and I'm talking like three foot ditches. The truck had barely skinny through. Well, right up this road, probably about a hundred yards, there is a ditch that is three feet deep, but it is, it, my wheelbase is too wide. so. It's really, really narrow, and if I slip and fall in one of those, I'm stuck in the ditch and I won't be able to get out. So unfortunately, this is as far as I can go by myself without a winch. So that means tomorrow I've got to go back down the mountain the way that I came up. So right now I do have to move the truck forward a couple more feet because if you'll notice the truck is slanted towards the back. I am going to be sleeping inside of the truck this evening because there is no flat spot here to actually pitch a tent enough to sleep in it. And uh, all this stuff is like, I can't get tent pegs in this. So if the wind does whip up, this stuff, this mulch is really loose. It'll take my tent right down the mountain and that won't be fun. I find it interesting that there is power poles going all the way up this hill. So there must be some kind of settlement or something up there because these are all brand new power lines and there's no residents up here. I've checked Google Earth, I've checked satellite imagery. There's nothing established up here. So this must be a new road that they're literally building as we speak. So. I'm going to call it home for the night in the truck. So I just got to move this forward a couple more feet and I think I will get the titanium stove out, maybe set it on the ground just to use the oven. I'll see what I got for food and what I feel like cooking later on, but uh, I've got to get at it because it's getting dark very quickly. So I'm going to pull this forward a couple feet, level it out and that's it. Well, after messing around a little bit, it looks like two traction boards on the driver's side is enough to lift it out, to level it out. I'm level, straight to back. Now, side to side rolls the really bad one that bothers me. Two boards on that side seems to do well, so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And now it's time to start the cleaning process. Now, luckily I already did a lot of cleaning when I was at that hiking trail, so I just gotta get the wood crate out, kind of set it underneath of the truck and just kind of rearrange things and then start on supper. I'm starving, it's getting dark quick. And uh, I, I'm beat guys, I am really, really beat. I'm exhausted today. Uh, and the temperature, I don't know what's going on, man. It is like, it is warm. It's 12 degrees Celsius right now. And this long sleeve shirt, I'm almost sweating just kind of walking around here casually. So I'm gonna get started and uh, hopefully get some of this stuff wrapped up really quickly and then start relaxing.
right guys, I've got a few options just looking in the fridge really quickly. First off, I'm up in the middle of nowheres. No one's likely going to bother me up here. So that means I could do an outdoor fire and do a really extravagant kind of cookout. Which means I'm going to break out my titanium stove because I do have that stove. I'm not going to set the tent up though just because it's not needed. But I'm going to set up the stove just off to the side of the truck and I'm going to do pizza. I'm going to do homemade pizza in the bottom of the oven. Get that cooked up really nicely. I've got all kinds of fresh vegetables so I can make a really good style of pizza. And then after that, if I'm still hungry, I brought tin foil. I can make a little plate and slide in some nachos. Nachos and cheese and salsa because it's already a wet, mucky, dirty kind of day. Why not gorge on food up here in the hills? So I'm going to get the oven out and get that set up on the tailgate and then get the fire going inside of that. Hold off on the fire in the truck and uh, we'll go from there and start making some pizza, guys.
All right, guys, well, this first pizza is ready to eat. I've already had one piece. Two thumbs up on that. Beautifully cooked, nice, hot, homemade pizza right out of the oven. Very, very, very crispy. Oh, yeah. Pepperoni, red pepper, uh, mushroom, onion, cheese, whole bunch of good stuff on there. So, there is one thing I've got to watch out for out here. Coyotes and bears. There's going to be a lot of them smelling this in the woods. They're probably going to want to come in and see what's going on. So, I'm going to get my headlamp on and just kind of keep an eye out what's going on around me. I'm going to eat supper. Might leave this stove out or let it cool down underneath the truck tonight. But um, I think ultimately it's going to be eat food and then crawl in the back of the truck, get the wood stove going, crack into a drink, and start relaxing. Well guys, this is the second pizza. The wood stove is just about burned out. It's actually beginning to snow a tiny little bit. It's kind of like wet snow and rain. Um, I don't know what tonight's gonna bring, but going down that road's gonna be a slick ride. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But uh, having these perimeter lights underneath my rock lights under the truck are really, really handy for at nighttime for walking around. You can actually see what's on the ground and driving at night, of course. But for walking around the truck at nighttime, they are definitely very, very useful. So that's what that lighting is underneath of there if you guys have not been following the uh, the truck camper build series. But um, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up really quick, get that stove cooled down. If I can pack it up tonight before the rain, I'll pack it up. If not, I'll slide it under, let it cool down, deal with it in the morning. But I will see you guys inside the truck. All right, let's get this going. I've got my wet pants hanging over here, so I'm just gonna leave them there for now to hopefully dry out. A lot of things are wet, guys. A lot of things are wet, so let's spark one of these up. And these little fire starter cubes are uh, scented citronella. So they actually smell really, really good. So having them in the truck is uh, not a bad thing. They actually smell really good, so happen to like the smell of that. So that should take off no problem. And we'll get some of the dampness and some of the condensation out of here. As you guys can see, breathing back here, there is condensation obviously, just like being in a vehicle. So that's good. Draft open, taut vent is wide open. Let it do its thing and get warm. Oh, I do have one window open as well, just to help with the condensation for now. There's no rain right now, and what I can tell is there's a little bit of flurries outside, so hopefully nothing comes in the window. If it does, I'll just shut the window. But that's going really, really well right now. That is a hundred times easier than what it was last night. All right, well, with the wood stove going, it is starting to warm up in here really nice and quickly. Um, it is getting closer to Christmas, guys, very, very close to Christmas. And I don't think I'm gonna get those Christmas lights wired up. I got a whole box right here that I brought from home. I don't think I'm gonna get these set up tonight. Uh, I am gonna be editing some photos, so I do have my laptop in here. I'm gonna do some editing of photos and get some files transferred on a laptop so we can start fresh tomorrow with some new memory cards. Uh, but I do have green and red lights. So I'm gonna turn one to red and one to green. 
that's a pretty Christmassy vibe, I think. And having that on and looking at the wood stove, it is definitely feeling like Christmas. And it's snowing out right now. Very, very small, small flurry flakes. So guys, I think this is going to be it for this video. Uh, of course, we're going to pick up right where we left off today, tomorrow in the next video. So you'll have to tune in and check that out. It's going to be a very adventurous day, just like today was. So I thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm going to get to work on my computer, watch a movie, and then lights out. Good night, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.